I, I was asked to be in a casting for American Idol. <laughs> it's so random. This is the morning, everyone. It's about that time again. It's about that time. Like, this time, it, it's actually overflowing, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I woke up, this is like dripping, you know what I mean? ACs are so weird. There's some days where, it, like, it gives me no water, and then there's some days where it's like, it's all water. What a beautiful start of the morning, huh? We're sponging water. Of course, there's a lot of water, and it's a little bit annoying to, you know, take take all this out, but, like, this is a positive, all right? I'd rather do this and have all the water spill all over the carpet, all right? Hopefully, you guys thought yesterday's video was W Riz, ladies and gentlemen. If it is W Riz, uh, go and leave like on that video right? i have to dump this out first because this, this, this is this is a lot of water <laughs> guys this isn't part of the video but i have a pretty difficult decision to make just keeps ringing all right no problem bro <laughs> so i have a pretty difficult decision that i gotta make i already made the decision let me uh, spare the bs from you guys but it was a kind of like a difficult decision because so on the 14th and the 15th i have something really important going on and you guys will find out what that's gonna be on the day and whenever that day comes it takes up the whole day so like it, that's gonna be what the video is about completely right for both days in a row uh, count how many times i said day but then i find out a couple hours ago that uh i have been i, I was asked to be in a casting for american idol <laughs> so random yep they're casting for american idol season 23 on abc if you're interested in auditioning for the uh, for the singing competition virtually for american idol please you yeah, whatever and now the problem is that lands on the 14th so if the thing on the 14th that i'm doing takes up the whole day there's a minimal chance that this uh, american idol audition actually lands on a time that works for me unfortunately your boy had to deny it if only it was a different day i'd love to do it unfortunately that's going to be a negative ladies and gentlemen your boy quit american idol before before you even started on it, so. Here's an interesting predicament. I don't even know if it is a predicament, but it's interesting nonetheless. Watch this. Jesus. From what I understand, this, uh, the, that bacteria right there, that's coming from the light. Because the light wasn't, like, over the top, so. Yellow bacteria growing in my... Let's just make sure all, like, the water levels are, are, are good, all right? Let's get one of these things right here. All right, let's see. Okay, this is what it's looking like. pH is normal. Alkalinity is low slash moderate. Hardness of the water is soft. Nitrate is... Let me give you guys a quick little perspective, all right? This right here is the, the nitrite meter. This is danger. This is not danger. That's the level. Nitrate is at the unsafe level. <sighs> I'll figure all that tomorrow. I'll feed them now and kind of scrub out the sides here. I'll, I'll figure all this out. <laughs> all right, bro. <laughs> Sir, you know what time it is again? We're in the hot seat, all right? We're in the hot seat. We're on the electric chair, but instead of killing people, we're just killing careers, boys. We're not killing careers at all. We're just gonna be talking about people that are potentially killing their own careers. One isn't actually, they, they release a response and I thought, all right, it's fine. But the other one is still to be determined. So I, I don't know. I wanted to smoke the Ava Tyson pack really quickly because I just realized after like researching all about this today, Ava Tyson was pretty much like the catalyst of these, you know, recent events. So just, just interesting, just food for thought. You know what I mean? But yes, little recap on the whole Ava Tyson situation. Lolly lolly bad lolly draws kids in a weird way ava tyson also known as chris tyson from mr beast was engaging in that kind of stuff in that type of content and uh obviously you could probably tell where that's like bad and that's not the only thing she did she also did some other stuff too with uh with a with an individual that was under the age of 18 at the time messing with kids bad i think we already know that but we're not going to be talking about ava tyson in this uh in this video well just a little bit just a little bit but we're going to be talking about two individuals two youtubers that have been under fire recently for things that are just 
interesting and i really wanted to talk about it because even though i'm not like a commentary channel like i still think it's interesting so you know i like to dabble a little bit into it and talk about it for you guys and of course before i get into this if you guys want more details for each youtuber i'll be you know i'll be referencing some videos and you know some some sources i'll probably pop in some screenshots here and there too and just give you guys examples of what's been going on recently and you know here we go so the two youtubers i'm going to be talking about is one moist critical and two mr beast let's talk about critical first hey what's your name moist critical charlie the big penguin zero has been under fire recently for claims that he made on a debate against sneeko critical actually took an l rare l but l nonetheless right the reason why i say that the whole ava tyson situation was like the catalyst for like a lot of this first of all for those of you who are roommates with patrick Starr, moist critical he's a commentary channel and he talks about like everything right he talks about anything games related anything that he's interested in but most importantly in this context youtube drama obviously ava tyson's drama is huge the biggest thing that's going on this month it should be talked about and you know as a as a commentary channel you'd think that moist critical would talk about it he did just to not trying to throw him under the bus here he did but according to twitter it was a little bit too late it was a little bit too late and the biggest advocate to this point was uh was sneeko sneeko was upset that moist critical wasn't like on top of the situation as he should be like as as quick as he should be even though he was that led to them beefing over the internet and uh eventually getting into into a debate live on stream and the main topic of this debate uh is children the biggest point that everyone's been like dunking on uh sneeko about is sneeko thinking that the age of consent isn't exactly 18 the age of consent is the age of maturity according to him so in his logic right if you were 12 and you count yourself as mature you're eligible to be married stuff that you shouldn't be eligible for if you're under the age of 18 keep in mind sneeko is also a defender of cuties a movie that depicts children in a very weird way so let's just say uh sneeko is a bit of a bit of a bit of a ao type of person you know what i mean but yeah going back to the whole debate thing charlie and sneeko started talking about you know the age of consent and what should be considered as age of consent charlie believes that it's 18 sneeko believes that it's the age of maturity they started getting into it it was an l for sneeko for the most part this is where it kind of took a turn against charlie a little bit while simultaneously still you know sneeko's still a big l i guess to put it into words Charlie took Sneeko down, but Sneeko took Charlie with him a little bit. Because, here's why. The debate kept going, and then Sneeko brought up the question of Charlie being, I guess I'll just show you the clip. There it is. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay, so as long as everyone- your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it i am i think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make yeah okay so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever but they can't get married oh well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party so if you have someone that's your age coming in saying i want to marry that child i yep i don't think that can happen under any circumstance so you, no. but it's still a personal decision you're still deciding, it's, it's, it's but no, still, no, but it's, no, because there's take a, the other party out of the equation. It's a personal it's decision. Not. If I'm, or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful. She's 21 years old. Her family wants to do it. My family wants to do it. You're saying I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's that woman's a pet. But if then the next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my pee off i can go right into the clinic snip it off and start taking hrt like chris tyson that's a society that makes sense to you it is i believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete yep i believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do so according to charlie if you are under the age of 18 as long as there's consent from the individual themselves and the parents it's okay to transition into a different gender now you could see where that's bad and there was also part of that stream where uh, Charlie kind of compares switching to a different gender as like, you know, like picking a sport, which is bad. Full stop. That's, that's, that's a L take. So for the past few days, Charlie's been getting dunked on by the internet and that forced Charlie to uh, pull out of the podcast he's involved in and also another program that he's involved in, something along the lines of that. Pretty much saying he wants to take a hiatus from the internet. And I, I understand being on the internet's rough. It can definitely take a toll on you, you know? So that's why I'm not on social media as much. Now, I mentioned earlier, that one youtuber is still up in the air when it comes to whether they're innocent or not and the other one is pretty much you know 
it's they're, they're fine and charlie's the one that's okay a couple hours ago charlie dropped a video pretty much uh, which is funny because it's someone predicted it on twitter being like oh i can't wait for charlie's next video moist critical situation is crazy and then a couple hours ago charlie drops a video moist critical situation is insane I, I think oh yeah crazy yeah it was backwards but whatever let me kind of lay out like the main points i was talking about in the video if i miss some go ahead and check out his video on it you probably have seen it already with the quitting podcast tweet a lot of people on twitter took that as like oh charlie's gonna be done with the internet completely he's taking a hiatus indefinitely he's done making youtube videos it's game over no. People took it out of context as a, a complete quitting thing. Even though it's just a, he's quitting the podcast that was mentioned in that tweet. Now, obviously, the main important point that he went into is the whole being able to transition, even if you're under the age of 18. What he was trying to say about that is, since the whole debate was pretty wild, Sneeko saying, oh, if a, if a kid wanted to cut his dick off to you, whatever. He thought that was hyperbole. He took that literally. Obviously, it still looks bad, right? The VOD itself, you know, it still looks bad. But what Charlie was trying to convey, people under the age of 18 can look into transitioning, not transitioning entirely, because obviously transitioning into a different gender isn't just like a just like that it's a whole lot of process it's a big process but it's also a big thinking process if you get what i mean he pretty much just said you know it's it's open to consideration even if you're under the age of 18 which i think it's fine and by the way like the whole transitioning thing the whole process of hrt and chopping your well, you have to be over the age of 18 for that so pretty much to kind of summarize that whole point his main point is good however the way it was delivered was an L. He took it completely differently. And you know what? In the in the response, he takes full accountability. He takes full accountability of not, you know, not thinking right and, you know, you know, just a horrible point. I respect it. And also one thing that he brought up was uh the whole criticism of him being a fence sitter. I honestly like the humanity of like how he responded to that claim being like he's he's a human no one should be taking his point as a gospel or whatever i think if you were smart enough you'd know that he's he's not god but a lot of people put him up on that pedestal as like you know the, the spokesperson like i said man i like the way he responded to it it's like he's just a dude man oh yeah and with that tweet announcing that he's done with the podcast and stuff apparently he's been you know he's been thinking about that for a while even though he's been thinking about it for a while the fact that it got announced right after the debate it's just it's it's uh bad timing of course i like youtubers that can actually like take accountability of course you got to defend yourself but you also got to realize when you're wrong that's what makes me like charlie a lot he's just human i, don't, I didn't really put any bullet points for the moist critical stuff but i did put some bullet points for the mr beast stuff since it's a lot it's a lot either way mr beast time Sierra. ever since the ava tyson stuff came out it's just caused a domino effect all the way to the whole mr beast corporation is like in jeopardy right now because of like a lot of like morally wrong things that's been alleged al allegedly put on him whatever words i don't know so before we get into the exposed piece that a former mr beast employee came out with let's talk about the tweet that jake the viking tweeted the tweet that said jimmy knew uh yeah he was right allegedly all right this is all allegedly just i'm trying to protect myself actually step it back a little bit when ava got outed as a pdf file mr beast came out with a tweet being like i didn't know about this but now i know about it so fire ava tyson from the mr beast thing main point being he didn't know about it. Jake says he knew about it the whole time, and Jake was right. Here's why. There has been leaks, obviously, allegedly, but there has been leaks of Mr. Beast being in the same Discord as Chris was. And this is the same Discord that Chris was doing the EDP stuff, allegedly, of course. Allegedly. Here's a couple screenshots of... I don't know, just filth. <laughs> what about if I snatch you? A former employee that goes by the YouTube name uh, Dogpack404 has come out as the new content cop, pretty much, uh, exposing Mr. Beast as a fraud. This was an hour-long video pretty much dissecting a bunch of, like, the unethical things that Mr. Beast has been doing in the past few years and stuff. And let me tell you, it's a lot. There's three big main points, right? There's one, Mr. Beast videos are fake. Two, there's alleged illegal lotteries and then three the beast games debacle to say the least let's talk about the first claim uh mr beast videos fake fake and i'm not going to be talking about the whole cgi stuff or like the the fake real time video that he posted recently i looked at those two points and i don't i don't think it's the worst thing ever and i don't i don't know i don't even think it's bad i guess a little tldr mr beast put cgi on his videos to make it look more high production i guess and also the, the real time video really wasn't real time Womp womp. A lot of the game shows that Mr. Beast holds on his channel, he always says that I brought 
God knows how many subscribers, random, random subscribers. That's the most important word, random. Yeah, they're not random subscribers. The funny thing is, they're employees, they're friends of Mr. Beast, and the craziest thing, one of them's his girlfriend. And I have no doubts that, you know, there's definitely a portion of these people that aren't, like, you know, like, related to Mr. Beast in any way. I think there's some of them that are actually, like, real, like, random subscribers, but for the most part, apparently, they're just local. They're just local to Mr. Beast, which to me, it wouldn't be so bad to, you know, have friends, employees, even your girlfriend. It don't matter. You can have them, you know, uh, pop into the videos and compete for the money. Just don't say that they're all real. Like the CGI or whatever, whatever, that's fine. But if you're going to claim that your videos are real, let it actually be real. <laughs> you know what I mean? And on top of this, there was a claim in that video, specifically in a video where he did, uh, I think, is it 50 girls versus 50 boys or 100 girls, 50 or whatever. There was a clip in that video where he bribed. Is it $10,000? I believe $10,000 to a guy that can actually solve a Rubik's Cube to leave. So pretty much rigged the game show and that kind of stuff. And again, I don't think that specific example was too bad. But there's a few more points that are actually kind of... Eh. Look into the Rosanna Pantino stuff. You'll understand a little bit more of like a lot of the fakeness of the game shows. So the $10,000 for the Rubik's Cube guy is pretty much just like a like the tip of the iceberg when it comes to altering like the results of the game show. There's a lot more examples that are more important than that one, which it's not illegal to fake a game show uh in the youtube standards at least right if you're if you're a big corporation like survivor or something then that's illegal as a youtube video you can kind of bend the rules a little bit when it comes to that it's not illegal but i just think it's it's still scummy especially when you claim that your videos are real it's like nah, nah. just say they're not real man it's not that hard it's not that deep so for this next point i actually have to uh kind of read a little bit here this is all alleged uh, alleged it's a great word illegal lotteries according to dogpack 404 estimated to be worth over 10 million dollars worth of illegal lotteries so a very important rule on this right this doesn't just apply to like big corporations this apply this applies to everyone to put it in caveman terms if you not government you know lotteries so a giveaway is okay not like the oh you want to join the free gift card give no i think those are garbage of course but a giveaway is cool but what's not cool is that if you turn this giveaway into a lottery a giveaway can be considered as lottery if you don't take away one of these three rules all right three rules one is that if there's one or more prizes two a winner is chosen at random and three payment is required to be entered so if you have all of these three it's a lottery all right you have to take out one of them for it to be considered not a lottery and one video or should i say one live stream specifically that has been investigated really hard for this is the t-shirt live stream where mr beast and uh, a few of his boys were signing t-shirts and selling them or whatever that live stream is full full of lottery from the evidence that dog pack um kind of unpacked no pun intended those are lotteries jimmy they're not just lotteries they're illegal lotteries all right all alleged Course. Now speaking of the t-shirt live stream, just a little funny thing that happened in the live stream is uh, Tyler. Tyler is one of the boys and um, on live stream, you could have done this at a worse time. On live stream, Tyler put MB on the shirt himself. That's that's Mr. Beast's signature. So the claim of the autographs being 100% legit uh <laughs> couple out the window it's not the craziest point but it's just, i just find it funny just another example of mr beast just lying like bro just don't just stop just stop i don't think that's kind of funny too when the second version of feastables came out jimmy put out a tweet uh saying like hey if you go to walmart and try to buy my candy bars could you guys please like clean up the shelves of any feastables the most hilarious part is that if you send in a photo of a before and after before being the mess of a shelf and then the after of like the shelf being clean and everything uh you get the chance of winning five thousand dollars <laughs> the reason why i think it's funny is because uh obviously mr beast's fans are you know a lot of them are children technically is that technically child labor <laughs> now the last point i wanted to talk about too like i said man i'm not gonna go over every single detail otherwise this video would be five hours long but one of the things that's been brought up against mr beast is his collaboration with amazon beast games is a mr beast game show but on steroids because they have a huge trillion dollar company backing them around a thousand people competing for five million dollars from the stories that rosanna pence you know uh brought up from people that were actually competing in that competition according to them it was a horrible experience apparently two people got seizures injuries galore even the hospitals nearby were actually like 
saying like, yeah, there's there was a lot of injuries coming from this competition. Pretty much confirming that the claims are actually legit. Overall, just a really bad situation at the Beast Games game show. You'd think that if you're Mr. Beast getting backed by a trillion dollar company, you would, you know, ensure the safety for the people that are competing. You'd think that that's the most important part, but I guess not. There were claims of people not being fed at the right time, or not being fed for God knows how many days, whatever. It's just an unsafe environment. It's It just sucks, because it's like, bro, like, come on, man. Those were the most interesting points that I wanted to bring up. And again, there's more things to talk about too, but it, you know, I don't want to make this video too long, but there was actually a defense uh, by one of Mr. Beast's employees, which that's already a bad start as it is, but we'll talk about that in just a second. I actually wanted to quickly defend Mr. Beast here really quickly. I think that the Feastable bars were actually pretty good. Um, uh, people started finding out that uh, the new Mr. Beast bars is actually incredibly unhealthy. Even though Mr. Beast himself claims that like, hey, you know, the reason why I'm making these Feastable bars is, to, you know, to, you know, help with the obesity stuff and make it as healthy as possible. Like I said, it tastes good. There's a reason for it, because it's not healthy. Of course, the most unhealthy stuff tastes good, yeah. And also, the other thing that I wanted to defend... Ow, ow, ow. And also, another thing I wanted to defend Mr. Beast on is the whole philanthropy stuff. I think the philanthropy stuff is actually still, you know, I, I think it's. I think that's a good thing. It's not an excuse, but I just wanted to point that out. Because from what we've seen, it looks like it's not fake. I think all the stuff that he does for other people is actually a good thing. It just sucks that a lot of the other things is bad, you know what I mean? From building wells in Africa to the Team C's, Team trees you know i think it's all good he's allegedly done a lot of bad things but um i just wanted to point that out really quickly because you know if you wanted to completely get rid of the mr beast stuff and just stick to the philanthropy stuff i'd, I'd be all for that still doesn't take away the fact that billionaires don't do what mr beast does you know either way let's get into the defense for mr beast uh not by me but a current employee for mr beast like i said man it's already a bad start that uh an employee is defending mr beast here because you know he's still in payroll what's even worse is how he responded to it so on twitter a guy named chucky came out with this really long tweet defending mr beast and was specifically defending against dog packs video this is going to be a really short part because it was just it was a garbage garbage response he didn't get into all the you know alleged illegal lottery and stuff he just he just kind of talked about the cgi who cares who cares? You could probably find the response on Twitter, man. I'm not even gonna bother showing you the screenshots. Who cares? It's 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 a garbage response. Tomorrow's video will be back to regularly scheduled programming again. Either way, Moist Critical is uh, doing okay now. Mr. Beast still under investigation, and there's still more stuff coming out every day. You better start cooking up that YouTube response, otherwise, uh, oh god. Oh yeah, and also going back to Charlie, make that Mr. Beast video. All right, big guy. All right, boys. I'm about to edit this video. It's gonna be a long edit. Let me tell you that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog yes sir Bam. turn around no I got options they give me to go but I tell her to stop it always got the key and my heart is to lock it yeah 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 I like a pro but you're really a novice